First though, she was fighting for her life. She was trying to do everything she can to keep her head above water. New at five, a fisherman in the right place at the right time. He tells us how he was able to save a man and a woman after their boat crashed into a channel marker. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Justin Mormuth in for Matt Austin. The fisherman says he was getting ready to head home last night when his instincts told him to go into a different direction. News Six's Jerry Askin joins us now live from Volusia County with this incredible story. Jerry. Hey, Justin, very incredible story. And actually here at this boat ramp is where I'm told those two people were brought to after being uh, rescued from the Halifax River. They were then taken to a nearby hospital. I spoke with that good Samaritan who jumped in to help and rescue those two people. And he told me how their flashlight actually helped in the rescue. It's just the fact that the Lord put me in the right place at the right time. Adi Morris showed me his boat that he used last night to rescue two people from the Halifax River here, not far from the Port Orange Causeway. It was something I, I had to. Investigators told me those two people were traveling in a boat at a high rate of speed and only using a flashlight for guidance when they crashed into a channel marker a little after 11.30 last night. Morris was out fishing and was about to head home, but something told him to instead head south. Then... I heard a really, really faint, help, help. I'm just getting choked off right now. He saw a woman fighting to stay above water. I looked over and I saw a faint light. Uh, what saved her was she had a flashlight with a lanyard on her wrist. And I kept seeing the little flashlight and then it'd go under the water. He called 911 as he worked to rescue both people who were hurt from the crash. This face is jacked up. She's way out there. I said, grab hold of it. And when she grabbed hold of it and everything, that's when I pulled her straight over to the side of the boat here. We pulled up to the boat and it was, there was blood everywhere. His whole face was split open. He was able to get them safely to this boat ramp, all before medics rushed them to a hospital. We're headed to the pier right now, We're headed to the dock. I had like eight officers walk up to me telling me that if you weren't there, they'd be dead. Yeah, you know, very incredible story. At last check, we're still waiting to get their latest conditions and names from officials. At last check, they were taken to um, the hospital. FWC said it's a, you know, a sad reminder sort of to us all to be careful on the water. We're live here in Port Orange, Volusia County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.